Hello and welcome to Vision Academy. My name is Hanuman Ladwa and in this video we are going to write a program to check whether a given string is a palindrome or not. So let us understand what do you mean by palindrome. Here I will write the string called dad. So if I reverse the characters of this string for example this last d will come at the beginning and this a will come at the center and the first d will come at the end so again after reversing the entered string if we get the same string then such a string is called palindrome string now let us go for writing the preprocessor directives hash include in angular brace we'll write io stream dot h header file and the next preprocessor directive is hash include in angular brace console input output dot h header file and we are using string built-in function so that's the reason we have to include one more preprocessor directive called hash include in angular brace we'll write string dot h header file now let us write wide main function curly open brace and here in the declaration section i'm going to declare two variables of type character and they are of array of characters here i am going to write yes that represent string and whose size is 100 this is array of type character comma r represent reversed string so whose size is 100 so this is also array of type char next i'll write clr scr function which is used to clear the screen now we will ask the user to enter the string using cout statement so stream insertion operator in a double quotation mark i'm going to write enter this string so end the double quotation mark and put semicolon and now we are going to receive the response from the user through keyboard using cin dot get line function and here i'm going to pass the first argument string that is yes and the size is 100 and put semicolon and now i'm going to use one built-in string function called strcpy which is used to copy the string so i'll write strcpy and here i'm going to pass the two arguments the first argument is r and the next argument is yes so here string is copied to the reversed string next i'll use one more built-in function called strrev and here the copied string is stored in r so that's the reason we are going to pass r as argument to this particular function so strrev is the function which is used to reverse the string okay next we are going to check out the condition if i'll write strcmpi is string comparison case insensitive here i'm going to pass s comma r so if s comma r and it compares each letter here both uppercase and lowercase letters are same for strcmpi so here string and reversed string even though they have got upper and lowercase letter if the string is same then it returns zero value here we are going to check out is equal to zero here if the strings are equal then it is going to return zero zero is equal to zero yes it is true if it is true then i'm going to write c out in a double quotation mark it is palindrome end the double quotation mark and put semicolon if this is not equal to zero then else part has to execute so c out stream insertion operator in a double quotation mark i'm going to write it is not palindrome so end the double quotation mark and put semicolon here i'm going to write get ch function and then curly closing brace for main function now let us take an example here i'm going to write output so once we compile and run this program it will ask the user to enter the string so here i'm going to write enter the string for example i'm going to enter dad okay so this is stored in yes okay so s is equal to i'll write dad next you can see here str cpy so this s will be copied to r so what is going to happen now r is holding the string dad next we are using strrev to reverse this string 
So STR REV even after reversing this D will come here, this A will come here and this D will come here. So D A D once again we got the same result. So here we are going to check out STR CMPI S comma R. If both the strings that is the reversed string, reversed string as well as the entered string both of these two are equal then str cmpi that is string comparison case insensitive will return zero here in this case it is returning zero is equal to zero hence it is true now it is going to print it is a palindrome it is a palindrome now i'm going to go for run two so this is run one now i'm going to go for run two once again we are going to compile and run this program now it is going to ask the user to enter the string here i'm going to write enter the string and then i'm going to enter a string which is not a palindrome for example i'll write mummy so mummy has got m u m m y so if i reverse this one so this is going to store in s correct so i'll write Next, str cpy will copy the string to r. So here r is having this um, string. Next, str rev, we are going to reverse this particular string. So after reversing this string, what we are going to get? We are going to get y at the beginning. This m, next, next this m over here. Next u will come here and this m will come over here so both of these two are equal no they are not equal so hence it is going to return if it is if the string is greater than the reversed string then it is going to return plus one if it is yes is less than reverse string then it is going to return minus one so here m is having ascii value less than that of y so hence it is going to return negative value right so that's the reason so it is not equal to zero even though it returns positive value plus one it is not going to equal to zero hence it is going to go for printing it is not palindrome right so here it is going to print it is not palindrome so let us execute this program for that i will take you to my laptop screen here you can see I have already written this program in Turbo C++ compiler to save your time. Let us compile this program by pressing Alt F9. Here it is showing success that indicates there is no syntax error and I am going to press enter now. Let us run this program by pressing Ctrl F9. Here it is asking the user to enter the string. For example, I am going to enter dad and press enter. Here it is printing it is palindrome. Let us execute this program once again by pressing ctrl f9 once again it is asking the user to enter the string now i'm going to enter the string called mummy and press enter here it is displaying it is not palindrome so let us run this program one more time and this time i'm going to enter dad so i have written here capital d as we have used str cmpi that is string comparison case insensitive function so it is going to treat both uppercase d and lowercase letter d as same and now i'm going to press enter here you can see it is displaying it is palindrome i hope you understood this program if so please write down in the comment box as understood thank you